The 2022 Mokra Nationals was a four-day multi-hull extravaganza. Day one was round the cans racing in Plymouth Sound. Then we joined the Royal Western Yacht Club Triangle Race. Filming is from on board D1 and Hissy Fit, DASCAT 1495, with some footage from on board Sueños, DASCAT 1195. Three days of coastal racing with stops at some of our favourite places. It's very nice breeze down on the windward side here. Light down here. Yeah. Oh, I think we want to get out of here. Come off the load. Right, I think we're all pretty much a go, aren't we? Yeah. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, let's open it out. Five. Coming down five bit space. Yeah, coming down. Oh, I'm coming underneath him. Okay, we're a go, go, go. Matt's got his kite. Right. Right, let's trim main sheet is okay, isn't it? Yep. So the Mokras have just crossed the start line, day two of the Nationals, on our coastal, first coastal leg down to Falmer. What a fleet. Absolutely stunning. We're on board D1 with the man, Daz. Hello, Daz. Um, so lucky to be on here with two designers. We also have Richard Woods. Uh, really looking forward to this sale today. Look at that. A bit of a gas, but we're just looking at fast fire rates. Might come up over behind Easy Tiger in a second. Okay, let's go up as he comes down. Office, the initial squirt has run out. Run That's out the there. last end, let's get it up. 120. They've all gone slacker down there, haven't they? Yeah. The yachts are all looking okay. Okay, let's go. Well, we're starting to see this yeah. yeah, let's just hold it a second. I mean, we're. Good luck, guys. Have a good sail. Jib, what about opening the jib track a bit? Gone 127 again now. The yachts are looking more easy, aren't they? Yeah. Okay, should we go for it? Yeah. Okay, guys. Let's, I'd say, furl the other thing. Right, furl, yeah. We're almost starving on board. Matt's lost three stones since Oriel hasn't been on board. I think he's coming a bit faster. Are there any other sails you might want to consider putting up? No, there's no. Hey. Right, Nigel. Right, can I can ask Matt what with our tidal and where's our breeze? There was a report of no wind other than rain head in Whitsam Bay. Yeah. But we need to know tidally where we think we're going. We're going out to sea or we're staying closer to land? We're going out to sea. Out to sea. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, 
tranquil sailing on D1. Wind's just dropped a little. How's it going, Simon? Yeah, so-so. Mm. Definitely a bit tiresome. Breeze is flicking around, up and down, left and right. Got the Dobman Point is behind us. We've got Winky Winky just coming down. Seb's awake. It's got a DM just behind us. I don't know if we can see that. tired little thing come rest a while on d1 good place to stop yeah cool you like richard don't you <laughs> really liked richard oh what's on oh, shame do we want to give him some water or something there he is look does has got a passenger <laughs> look at him He's found a little little place to nest. Not the ideal place to nest, I must say. Because Daz has now become a conservation site. Means I can't um, particularly move. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but he's really happy there. He's, he's just like I'm riding the rest of the way to the UK with you. Yeah. Right here. I'm on joining you on the Plymouth Falmouth boy. Yeah. Beautiful. So we're just coming to the end of the Plymouth to Falmouth leg of the Triangle Race. There is the other Daz Cat. There is a Diam in the distance behind the, behind the boat there, Richard on Trin. Simon, how are we feeling? Well, cold as hell is feeling. It's definitely a little chilly. It's still only... Is that April still? Yeah. Still is April, yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's been a long day, slow, and it looks like the breeze has just kicked in for the uh, the boats coming in behind us. So uh, I suspect some of the uh, slower boats will do quite well on the handicap today. Morpheus has only finished about half an hour ago. DM. Got one for both DMs behind us at the moment. <laughs> Sunday morning, just going to do a little stroll down the pontoons. You're on video, Crispin. I made it to Falmouth. With the prizes. Crispin's been our prize transporter. Thank you, Crispin. Daz Cat 1495 Hissy Fit. I think they're all tucked in there, eating their breakfasts. Just picking up a goodie bag to deliver. Slinky Malinky, Daz Cat 1295. Sueños, Daz Cat 1195. Um, not sure. Hello there, Hello. how are you? Hung over. Good party uh, though. Yeah, Dan is like dead. Yes. And Sam's dead. Andy told me that they're going to uh, throw the dead people overboard to reduce weight. Yeah. And film it for me. Yeah. In the sail bag. <laughs> going to zip them up in the sail bag. And them over. Proper, proper funeral at sea. Yeah. We have to wait it with To something. Neptune. Donate to Neptune. Exactly. We need to find some weight. We need to go find some cannibals. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello. Morning, Julian. Good morning, Oriel. How are you? All right. Thank you. This boat is not part of our fleet, I don't think, but he has, has a very sweet doggy on board. So we've got Trillum, Triassic and Wombat here, all lined up. Belladonna and uh, Misty, I believe. I don't want to do that. It's a real Yeah, that was... Morning. How are you? Excellent. Sorry? I missed the seal. 
Did you catch it for me, Brendan? I went off, let the RSPCA yeah. yeah. disappear before I got out. Typical. <laughs> I don't think anyone else realised it was when I was walking back down to the local. Are you aware you were interviewing yesterday's winners? Just today? They smashed it out of the park. So you are the winners? Way hey! Only yesterday. Yeah, 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 but well done, good. Fair winning rocket shows overall so far. Okay. So, Easy Tiger, Bear Necessities. Not sure who that is. Good morning. Ready for today? Yes, good. Hello, Ellie. All fit to go? There is Enora up Nemo's mast. Here comes Adonanti. So we are just coming up to the start. Farmer Foy leg. Bit of argy bargy with Easy Tiger. We're neck and neck with Easy Tiger. Rest of the fleet is a little bit further up. Bare necessities. In the pack. Yeah, what? excellent move doing that. Nice one, D1. Belladonna's just bailed and she was right in next to Slinky in by the rocks. We've got Ben Necessities and Ray Gun. We've just taken the DM which has uh, made us all happy and we are sneaking up on his trip. Slowly, slowly. Yep. So on board D1 we're going for Cutter Rig. See if we can keep our speed. So the jib is going up inside our very, very ancient Code Zero. So D1 is actually making on the fleet quite nicely at the moment, as we should be, being so very light. Nazcat 1495 Hissy Fit. Ghosting along beautifully in 
very, very light winds. Really stiff north sails helping her along. We're much lighter here on board Dascat 1, but we have a very ancient sail. Makes all the difference. So I've just looked at this barrier ahead is lifting up, so... Yeah, but at the moment it looks like we're overhauling them, and that's what counts. Might be going high. Alia's a bit twisted. <laughs> <laughs> What wind speed would you say we have at the moment? Zero wind, and here's he fits ghosting along. Yeah. No, I mean, maybe we could say there was two knots of true wind, but not more. Mm -hmm. Ripple. It's beautiful. There's Misty, Farrier F9A. They've come from way up on the East Coast to uh, join us here. Great to have them with us. Um, yeah, he's got the wind again, but Morpheus is the one that's stuck right down to Lee, plus the monohulls that are right down to Lee, and Twister is stationary, um, Noah is moving again, but is so far down, it doesn't really count, the DMs are, come up on it. The DMs are way back. making on Wombat. It's a bit damp and nasty on board but we're happy because for the first time we can look back on the fleet in the distance. Although Slinky Malinky, she's pulled away from the rest of them. She's keeping up quite nicely with us. Up ahead we just have Wombat and Morpheus and we think the Trimoran Triassic is possibly up ahead. See you later, Wombat! So D1, we're feeling fairly chuffed with ourselves. We've come up through the fleet and Morpheus is lost to us up ahead. The two DMs off the entrance, but we are just about to overtake Triassic. Wombat, Wombat behind us and Slinky Malinky coming up behind. But today we're happy with how we've done so far. Wombat taking us again. He's got to show us where the finish line is. Three or four boat finish coming up, up the river. That's going to take a movement and that was boat. Hopefully, one back will take his wind long enough. Yeah, it's it's Slinky has suddenly got a real shifty on. She's been behind us most of the way, and as we come to the entrance, she's taking us. One back pulled ahead but he's stopped now but it's going to make a nice finish 
The Diams are in. Morpheus is in. We're neck and neck. Oh, we've got some momentum. It's alright, you've got space for him to go between the house. <laughs> Plenty of room on there, just keep going. Need on. Okay, need on. Need on. Come on. Well, biggest boat wins. Yeah, come on, set up, let's go. <laughs> neck and neck. Oh, look, he's spilled out. He took off. Monohole's moving. Yeah. We're going to get to it before that, before these guys do. We're getting... Oh, yes! Yes! yes. 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 Bye, yes. Slinky! Yeah. Yeah. Follow the monohull. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He's got a little bit of a dirty head. Yeah. 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 We've pulled away really nicely here. Yeah, we haven't got to finish yet, have we? Really nice. Come on, come on. What a turnaround. One back went from What a turnaround. Last out of us four. Yeah. We went from last to first. Yay! Belladonna did well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're all bunched together, aren't they? Here we are on the pontoons at Foy, the multi hulls and mono hulls from the triangle race. All stacked up here. What a sight. Sales on this, I've noticed. Easy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Third one, Second, Slinky yeah. Malinky. Yeah. Yeah. And the first, Bella Donna. Uh, Unknown to the races today, and congratulations even for getting over the starting line, it seemed to me, at about nine o'clock in the morning. Um, the Mokra will take first. Adonante. Second Bella Donna. And first Triassic. Thank you very much. And uh, I'll see you on the start line tomorrow. Thank you, Mark. Thank you.
boat that was first on each day, so we've collected Friday all together in one. So that one goes to Wombats. So we're just coming up to the final leg of the triangle race from Foy to Plymouth. There is no wind on the start. And that's the go signal. That's our start for the multi hulls. We seem to be first over the line on D1, which is rather nice. Light wind again today, but we are moving. Yeah. Belladonna is all the way down there. Swainos and the Dians are just going over the line. Nemo seems to have parked up over there. Trimaran seems to be the only one that's actually got off the line. I was told to come and make videos instead. That's what it's all about. Changes. <laughs> <laughs> Another overtake from Sueños. Yeah. There's the monohull fleet. They started 10 minutes before the multi hulls. We've been sailing for three minutes now and we're about to catch them, which must be a little bit upsetting. And we are currently still just leading the multi hulls but it looks like trillium is um coming up fast as fast as it's going to get today anyway and oh the engine did not enjoy that yeah. the boat not moves it's got a north that's interesting isn't it Okay. No breeze. Hello, Oriel. Hello, Daz. <laughs> it's incredible, isn't it? It is incredible. It's beautiful. There is absolutely no wind, and we are ripping along. There's no engine. We've got Richard on the helm. Well, and if you look up to the horizon to sort of like two o'clock time, yeah, something that. like that, you can see there's no wind for anywhere. Down here, you cannot see the difference between the sea and the sky because the clouds are reflected and there is no horizon. It just looks like all is one. And I can see the sail beautifully reflected underneath us. Yeah. It's just... It's quite something. We had a day like this in the Bahamas. But light sun and moving that way. Brilliant. There's me. Taking shelter on D1. Yeah, this is the bridge down. Our cabin. Our cabin, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
We've just rounded Rame Head and coming up towards Penley, we've had big separation between the fleet all the way up, but the Am um, just sneaking up to us. Kissy Fit was getting close, but she's dropped back. But it could be another pretty exciting finish. Coming up to the finish on the Mokra Nationals and we have D1 and Hissy Fit neck and neck. Hissy Fit has just inched ahead of us. We've heard it all before. <laughs> D1 with Oriole crossing the Mountbatten Breakwater. There's Diam just about to cross the line, as are we on Hissy Fit. Trillium has since crossed the line, probably international champion. Coming up to the finish. and just crossing the line. And Zeb will be doing the snuffing. Well, look at him go! title of Mokra champion. Well done Will, Trillium and T. And very many thanks to all the local sponsors who helped to make this special event happen. <laughs> 